G'day, mate, and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. We're, we're on the Clastorio map because, long and short of it, we, we've basically achieved the ultimate mission of getting 60,000 packs per minute. Um, if I bring up the production tab, five second tab, we're at 63. So all the labs that I built are slightly overbuilt, and I actually overbuilt them a lot more. People have trimmed them down um, previously. Um, one minute, you know, this is a dip where research actually ends because mining productivity, it's 142,000 packs, which is what, two and a half minutes? Unfortunately, we don't have any auto research on this map. So somebody's physically got to be on the server to keep swapping the researchers every two and a half minutes. And if you look at like, like an hour graph, we're pretty good. 10 hour graph. Um, you can see we, we, we dropped way down on production science, but we did go up military science. And this is this one here, which I'm assuming somebody did artillery shell shooting speed. Or maybe artillery shell range, one of the two. Yeah, all the researchers are really, really cheap nowadays. Um, but that's not a 10 hour graph. We're, we're, we're close. 50 hour graph. We're still really, really close. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. We're at the 60k. Um, there are hiccups and most of these drops, as you can see, it, it's not resources. It's it's somebody not being on the server to click next research. Um, which is an issue. It is an issue. And next time round, I will be, if there is a next time round, um, people are already talking about that like, if we get 60, let's do 100k. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm game for 100k. That's a lot. Um, but as you can see, you know, research is pretty much on... on target. Um, as for research, as I said, yeah, mining productivity, uh, 1430. Don't forget, each one's worth 2%. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Um, actually, let's get rid of that. Let's go to bonuses. Um, plus 2,858%. So that means one piece of ore mined out of the ground actually turns into 29, roughly, pieces of ore. That's insane. Uh, and like we're on Nexus, so Nexus is, you know, a, a pretty average map as far as resources goes. If you go to one of the mining worlds, you'll find a patch this big. Like that's a hundred million. A patch this big will be like one billion um, before mining productivity. In saying that, like we are using five million iron ore per minute. So yeah. Um, things are a little bit insane. So I, I'm on Nexus for a couple of reasons. Um, one, to show off at the lovely pretty lights. So this is something... Swan? Yes, yeah, Swan built this one. And he tells me he, he, he just grabbed it online from somewhere else. And it's a plain, simple belt counter. Oh, I can't. I can't do map view. The game does struggle with map view. Let's run up there and actually look at stuff properly. Also, it's got to render where I'm standing and where I'm not standing at the same time. Come up here and we'll go join Griffin. A little bit of a hike. Maybe we should have got a running suit for this this little recording. Anyway, so um, we've got our lovely our lovely light display, which honestly. I, I am most impressed with this light display. It's It's been the most interesting I've ever seen. Because it's powered by power switches. And if you go to map view, you can now see we're doing... Nope. Nope. The switches are broken. Somebody rewired it. I don't know how they rewired it, but they rewired it. Yeah, they rewired it. These power switches used to used to turn on and off to set up these numbers. Anyway, um, so 
This this is a lovely display, and I've got to admit, I love it. So is this. Uh, this is the power graph that we've seen multiple times before. But somebody's actually hooked it up into the same network that's reading... This one's outputting 59k. So they've hooked it up to here, and I'm guessing they've... I, I'm, I'm going to assume by talking to Blooper that it's his fault entirely. This has been recalculated. But this now gives you a graph of how much science we're doing on a per minute basis. Um, we also have these lovely ones over here, which is your storage. And these are an indication of how quickly things are being fed into the belt. And they'll actually move. Right? When different sciences are running faster and slower, they'll actually slide up you know, faster or slower than they were before. It's actually really fascinating to watch this one. Um, we've got this little indicator here, which again, same story, just indicates where all the buffers are for all the different things. We are running out of copper ore, uh, not copper plate, because we're running out of copper ore, because we actually had to turn a copper plate server off. Uh, no, a copper ore server off, so people can get, get on there and actually move the miners, because as with all factory, you need to outpost. And um, it came to an outpost. But nobody's computer is good enough to actually run the server at any reasonable rate. So we actually had to turn off mining to get on the server, to fix the server, then turn the mining back on. Um, we still have the cluster and network storage. And nope. Here's where you can see iron ore is suffering. Uh, iron and copper ore are suffering, you know. Copper's got uh, 11 million, iron's got 1.5 million, and 1.5 million, I, like, I say it's a low number, it, but for our scale, that's like 20 seconds worth of production. So the only thing we can hope is we're putting it in the network faster than we're pulling it out, which when probably not with one server down. Um, well, one server temporarily offline. Um, but yeah, so this is... Probably my... I'm going to go with my last stream. Um, let's turn that off. Thank you. Um, this is definitely going to be my last stream of Cluster... Oh, well, my last... This is probably my last first first and last episode. Um, I don't know if I'll continue streaming it. Um, I don't know. I am going to do a special follow-up episode with the best blueprints of Clastoria. And that one I really, really recommend watching. Um, I will have the full network storage indicator um, as a blueprint. I will have um, the lovely science pots, etc. Um, the belt counter. Um, if Blooper can explain to me how this works, I'll probably have that one as well. Um, there's other ones I want to tell. You, I want to show off. Uh, Probably nothing else. Oh, the power indicator. Um, so yeah, there, there'll there'll be uh, there'll be a couple of follow up episodes um, with different different the, the the best of class story is probably the best way of putting it. Um, but yeah, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, we 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 pretty much got this one in the bag. Uh, it's been what what day is it? It's Thursday. It's been about a week and a half week and a half of total playtime uh, to get this far and it's been it's been a challenge it's definitely been a challenge it's been a challenge being that it's multiplayer so you get on you get some stuff done and then you come back 12 hours later and find everything you built's been ripped up and sometimes it's been replaced with something better sometimes it's not uh, I'm just trying to get a web page running. If it loads. There we go. Um, so yeah, sometimes things are better. Sometimes things are worse. But one other thing I want to show, if I can convince OBS to pick it up. There we go. This is the back end of the system. And yeah. Yeah, there's all sorts of different stats on here. Like at the moment, we've only got six connected players. There are 35 servers running non-stop. Um, this is our current science per minute. 
And you can see, like, we've, we've had some really bottom outs. You can see for this period here, nobody was online. So... Wow, that's current time. That's, that's my current time. So I can see between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., my time, nobody did any research. Um, which probably meant everything stockpiled. Uh, pretty much. Like, stone started to take a dive. Um, stones, whoops, whoops. Stones, this high one up here, which is just bottomed out. Um, you know, we can see power. But because we can now start moving power from server to server. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of changes with this mod. Um, in saying that, people, people, like I said, people are already talking about doing a... Setting a new goal of 100. Uh, 100,000 packs. People have also suggested changing over and doing a Bob's Mods run. Which, i be honest, that's something I would probably be interested in. Mainly because I've got no idea how Bob's works. So, that could be interesting. It could be horrible. Uh, okay. So, this is connected players and the time they spend on each server. Uh, this is connected instances. And as you can see, we do have servers drop out. No, this is current science packs per minute. Um... Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. Nope, that's the one we wanted. Shift click to hide an item. Reload. Come on. Master inventory. Can I get rid of stone? And really changes the way we can read things. What's that one? Problem is this is too much data on here. Production per minute. <laughs> so we're doing seven and a half million petroleum, 7.2 million crude, 6.7 million copper cable, 5.1 million iron plate, 5 million light oil, 4.3 million iron ore, 2.9 copper, uh, play 2.4 copper ore electric circuit 2.2 million. So you remember back to Factoria, back to achievements. Come on, game. Uh, there's an, an impressive achievement down here mass production three. Everybody is really, really proud of themselves when they get this achievement. Um, and I can't click on it because obviously a console command's been used on this server, but it's over the lifetime of your Factorio play. So it's been every single, every single game you've ever played, um, 50% online time for, for achievements, right? Um, for multiplayer games, that's, that was a new in version 16, but it's every single game you've ever played, every green circuit that's ever been made. And here we are talking about electronic circuit, 2.5 million. Can I just select that one? 2.9 million. I think we peak out at about 3 million electronic circuits every, every minute. Um, so what's that? That's six minutes? Call it seven. Seven minutes. Seven minutes to get that two and a half million electronic circuit uh 20 million electronic circuit achievement uh where are we like acid almost a million acid per minute this is on a per minute base don't forget um iron gear wheel three hundred fifty thousand, which is holding strong uh coal like that useless thing that that you really don't use that much of um 230,000 per minute, which just goes straight into plastic, to be honest. Uh, stone brick. Like, that's a, another one that you just, you, you only use it for science. 100 and 
70,000. Like, we're probably using a little bit of stone to make concrete, but not a lot. Uh, here's our science packs. I can't multi-look at a few of them at a time. But, you know, our science packs, our science packs jump up and down. Ooh, I touched something. Um, 56 to 68. This is what's imported into the network. Into the actual... A cloud on a on a per second rate um, or a per minute rate, so it does bounce up up and down a little bit, and that's just due to inserters. Uh, what else do I want to look at? I really want to look at uh, production. And we're in the low numbers now. I want to look at blue chips. Production, no. Processor unit, that's the one I want. Like, 100,000 per minute? Blue circuits, just blue circuits. 100,000 per minute. This is the most insane map I have ever played. Like, we've got like 300,000 accumulators in stock now. It's ridiculous. We're... we're we have 228 gigawatts worth of power in the network. In fact, actually, a lot of servers have got so big that we've stopped laying solar and we've just we've now got two whole dedicated power planets. Um, we do have a lot of servers that are doing a lot of load. Um, a lot, a lot of load. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting stuff. Yeah, so, um, let's go away achievements. But yeah, Castoria, I think, think it's done. I think it's safe to say with 400 whitelisted players, and I honestly don't know how many were active more often than not. Um, I know as the server, as the servers run for longer and longer and longer, less and less people have, have, have partaked. Um, I do know we peak on the weekends. We get lots more players on the weekends. Um, and that's Crisis Calling. Crisis, remember when you're watching this episode, you just ruined the recording. Um, because I didn't put my phone on silent. So, yeah, it's 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 done. It's done. Congratulations, us. Pat us on the back. I think this will remain the biggest server-concentrated MMO group effort ever. Um, because... Honestly, I don't think anybody else is going to be able to get 35 servers together to try and beat the record. And if it is, it's going to be the same people. So, thank you guys for watching. Do do watch out for those future episodes. Um, they're going to take a while to get them. I'm going to take a while to get them done and put together. Um, only because they're going to bounce through all the servers to collect all the blueprints I want to show off. Um... And there'll probably be two episodes, one with builds and then a separate one with just the circuit network stuff. Because some of it's amazing. Like, I still love this network storage. Um, I've done similar things in my own bases for just important stuff. But never for every single item. Because that's just insane. Until you come onto a server like this. Where suddenly, like, people care how many small power poles are in the network. Because they're using them in their blueprints. Wherever small power poles are. Here. People care that because they're in their blueprints and they need a small power pole so it doesn't accidentally connect to other things. Um, or people need to know how many burner inserters are in there because, again, they've got a build that needs burner inserters. It's been designed to use a burner inserter. It's just so weird with so many players. So, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And like I said, really pay attention to the channel over the next couple of days um, and watch out for the new episodes that will be coming out. Um... With the best of Castoria. Thank you guys for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alright. Bye!